Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I can create flames and fire using this, which is called a pixel stick. Now this is basically light painting. And in a video which I made a few weeks ago, a Halloween video with my friend Beth, which I'll link to up here, I did this shot, but unfortunately I couldn't show you how I created that shot because we have to take it in the absolute pitch black. That's the only thing with taking light painting shots. You often want to do it in the absolute darkest of the dark conditions. So that makes filming it, filming it for behind the scenes very, very difficult. So what I'm going to show you now is the setup of that shot, but I can't actually take the shot for real right now because the ambient light, the natural light is too strong. But I'm going to show you exactly how I do set it up so that when you see the end result, you'll know how I made it. So let's crack on. So the basis behind light painting is to take a long exposure with your camera. So I'm talking around 10 or 20 seconds. Now when we do that, we need the, the ambient light to be very low because any light in the scene is going to really be amplified by using a shutter speed that long. But if you have got almost pitch black conditions, what that means is even if you're shooting for say 20 seconds, as I will be for this shot, if there's no ambient light, no light is getting onto the sensor with the exception of the light that we put in front and light painting basically means that you're using a long exposure and then you're using a light source to paint in the light and that's what I'll be doing with this so what you'll see is that when I turn this on and we set this going this is the pixel stick is basically one long LED panel that when it's working just looks like a lot of lights going up and down this tube but when we have one camera with the 20 say second shutter speed and we're slowly doing this that is imprinting the light onto the sensor and that can create really cool effects in this example it's going to create the flames so the, the beginning point of you taking a shot like this is to have your camera on a tripod the reason it needs to be on a tripod is because again because we're using such a long exposure any movement on the camera is going to create blur so we don't want that so you really need to use a tripod or some sort of stabilization for your camera for a light painting shot such as this the next thing we need to do is make sure that the shot that we're taking has a long exposure say Mike in this case going to be 20 seconds but we also want to make sure that we're getting no ambient light into the scene or very very little ambient light so usually that would mean having your ISO very low so I'm at 20 second exposure at the moment I'm going to put my ISO at 100 and I'll probably shoot at around f9 or f10 but as you can see on the back of the camera now to use those settings it's still way too bright this is why you have to wait until it's almost pitch black but these will probably be the settings that I will go for and later on when I take this shot for real with our bride and groom these settings will will give me a virtually black exposure so the first thing I'm, I need to do, now that I've got my camera on the tripod, I've got a 20 second exposure dialed in, any, any light source now, because again we need to assume that it's pitch black more or less, any light source is going to burn itself onto the sensor and that's why we can drag the light across. So if I turn this light on, you'll see what this actually looks like in reality when we turn it on. So it's going to give me a little bit of a countdown, it's going to start now. So when that camera is turned on, when the shutter's open, when I do this, it's imprinting the flames that you can't see at the moment onto the image. This is, this is where the term light painting comes from, I'm just painting in the light. And then what's really vital is at some stage within these 20 seconds, I need to get the flash out of my pocket and manually light the bride and groom. And that is going to freeze them. because if we don't use a flash, the bride and groom are basically going to be a very dark silhouette. I only want to make sure that flash goes off once, because if I hit the flash twice, that's going to imprint the bride and groom on the photograph twice. I mean, you may want to do that. That could be a quite a creative look if you want to do that, but I'm just going for one, one single exposure on the bride and groom. So that means I only want to hit the flash once. So now I'm gonna wait for it to get really dark. We'll bring the bride and groom out. I will try and film it, but as I said, it's gonna be virtually pitch black, so I doubt we'll be able to see anything 
on the video, but, but who knows? But hopefully that gives you a good enough idea about how you can get started with light painting. I say it's a really good way to get creative. So let's see how we get on when the bride and groom come out. Now one of the downsides of shooting in almost total darkness is that your camera is going to really struggle to focus. But a good way of getting around this is to do what I did here, which is I gave my phone to James with the torch turned on and I asked him to light himself. I then got my focus before I turned the lens to manual focus so that my focus was then locked. And here you can see me taking the photograph. As I was running around, Demi and James, with the pixel stick, I was counting to 20. When I got to about 15 or 16, I manually fired the flash at Demi and James, and luckily just about did this before the camera shutter closed. Ooh, just in. Now, as you can hopefully see from this video, when it comes to light painting and creating really cool images, the pixel stick is absolutely amazing. The effects you can create with it are literally limitless. I've barely scratched the surface of it in this video. Say, so when it comes to light painting, I just love it. And the company that made the pixel stick, Bitbanger Labs, have very kindly set up a discount code, Redfern, which will save you $75 off the price of a pixel stick. I will put a link to their website in the description of this video and a big thank you to Bitbanger Labs for setting up that discount code. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. As always if you have any questions please pop them in the comments box and I will do my best to answer them and also if you wouldn't mind I would really appreciate it if you could please leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it because it really does help. So thank you very much again for watching and I will see you next time.